What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecole Espresso and welcome to today's second video and today what we're going to be doing is breaking down the trailer which dropped last night around 1 in the morning. It was in fact leaked and then Call of Duty decided to put it up and embrace it rather than try and hold it off until Sunday and strike anybody that put it up. So with that being said, I can now bring you guys this breakdown. We got some cool stuff to look at so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now right off the rip we get our first look at the exoskeletons and the Atlas logo which is going to be very prevalent, very important to everything seeing that Atlas is the main PMC we're going to be focusing on. Now, from the beanie that the character is wearing, I'm going to assume that this is our main character, the character that we see plastered throughout this reveal trailer multiple times. He may not be a main character, but personally, I really do think he's going to be important to the storyline. Now, the next thing that we see is, in fact, a restricted area where the guards from Atlas and our main character are walking through. And normally, I wouldn't mention something like this, except for the fact that Kevin Spacey's character, Jonathan Irons, mentions that he knows how to control the people, he knows how to give them what they want and what they need, and it looks to me like this this is almost like a camp for refugees. I may in fact be wrong on that, but there definitely is some segregation going on. Now, the next couple frames, we're going to be seeing swarms of transport aircraft, and this actually remind me of what we saw in the reveal trailer for Black Ops 2. Now, while they are not the same thing, they do have these same theoretical mechanisms and look like a dual rotor type of aircraft. Now, these things we see later on in the trailer are used for transport, but also have a super cloaking mechanism that makes them invisible to any human eye. Now, there's some very cool tech there, but now we get our first main look at one of our main characters here. Now, there are some things to mention that is notable about his appearance and what he has on him at the ready. One is the Atlas-issued armor vest. Another is a newer-looking pistol, as well as he's got a PDA right around his left shoulder. Something reminiscent of Black Ops 2, incorporating the technology feel into war and battle. Now, the next frame, we do actually see the cloaking mechanism on the dual rotor aircraft, like I was talking about. And then moving on, we get to see our main antagonist, Kevin Spacey, aka Jonathan Iron in this game. Now, what we know so far is that Jonathan Irons is the leader of the Atlas Corporation. He is at the helm of it and has tremendous power, so we all know where that's going to lead us down the path to put any chilling plan into motion. Now, moving on, we get to see some post-battle rubble from what looks like a torn-up city, and then moving on, we get to see our Sergeant Foley look-alike in his full exoskeleton suit in the Sector 2 Biolab data terminal. Now, we don't know what this is just yet, but whatever happened, it got destroyed, and judging from the look on our Sergeant fully lookalike's face, it's not too good. After that, we get to see that everyone has the exoskeleton suits. It's not just one-sided, where you get to have it and your enemies don't. Where the soldier gets thrown off the catwalk, both sides have an exoskeleton suit on, so that does kind of make it a little fair when you want to put it into terms like that, but who knows where it'll take us. Next up, we see some firefight going on in the middle of a city street that is quite busy, so it's not like a post-apocalyptic thing where people are already evacuated. People are just in the city when this is happening, and moving on to the next frame, you can see that this is possibly in Lagos, Nigeria. Now, what I'm judging on is that is that there is a digital billboard moving across the overpass that says, keep Lagos clean. Now, this is something that we see multiple times throughout this trailer, so it is definitely trying to hint us at to where this is going to be placed at setting-wise, and based off the setting, if you want to compare it to some current-day Lagos geography, it is quite mixed. There are some buildings that are, in fact, newer, but then there are also some run-down buildings as well, so it looks like this is going to be taking place in Lagos, Nigeria, as one of the main settings of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So the next frame you have is our main character using his exoskeleton suit, jumping to the edge of the now destroyed Golden Gate Bridge in the San Francisco Bay Area, for those of you guys that don't know where that is. And then we flash over to Kevin Spacey, perfectly talking about how there needs to be control order and all that kind of stuff. And then in the next couple frames, you just see a bunch of chaos, what looks to be like a Nigerian man watching someone that he knows get murdered, followed by a lot of destruction and just frames of sheer death and destruction. Keep the frames rolling and you have a another high-tech transport weapon coming to your aid, but this time we get a very brief look in at one of our weapons, and it has a dual red dot sight, which is quite interesting, and also what looks to be like a silencer. Now, taking a look at the actual inscription on the side of the gun, it is possible that this does say BAL-27. Now, whether or not that's the actual name of the weapon, that's yet to be determined, but it is quite interesting and some fuel for thought. Moving on, we get our first look at some hover bikes. Whether or not this is going to be only drivable in the campaign is yet to be determined, but it would be a cool little feature to add in here and there to multiplayer simply because we haven't seen any vehicles since Call of Duty World at War. Now, also, we get to see the sheer force of the exoskeleton suit. We're not going to be breaching or anything like that anymore. We're just going to be simply punching down doors. Now, I'm going to stop the video at this frame right here because this is something that I've seen a lot of people totally miss and looks to be quite important is the fact that while we see some soldiers searching in what looks to be a jungle area, we get to see a blue grid-like scanning feature. Now, this reminds me of what we see later on in the trailer where we get to see a scanning grenade, but it's 
it seems to me like we're going to be seeing almost an oracle type effect where you're going to be able to see through walls, see through other objects, and be able to get your target acquired while they don't even know you're there. Moving on, we get to see some cloaking actually on characters as well, not just vehicles like we saw earlier in the trailer. Now we're to the point where we get to see the actual scanner grenade be thrown and see what the effects of it does. It acts like an oracle mode, like I said, where you get to see people through walls, through objects, all that kind of stuff. And then we also get to see an in-depth look at what our red dot site may actually look like. After we see Kevin Spacey talking a little bit, we get to see another freeze frame of where we get to see the keep Legos clean billboard going up, as well as we get another billboard saying speed limit enforced by drone aircraft. So that's interesting to see that we're going to see drones flying around the city, maybe for security reasons, but also maybe more of a technological, fundamentally sound community. Now, next up, we just get to see more of the exoskeleton suit super strength being showcased, as well as some more apocalyptic breakdown of the Golden Gate Bridge. Another Fall of America type storyline being enacted, it looks like. And then what we see is absolutely awesome. We get to see a full mech suit. This was rumored to be coming to the next Call of Duty a little bit ago, but it was something that was completely overlooked by the entire community. But this is something that is absolutely awesome, possibly a new kill streak in multiplayer, but it is a fully armored mech suit, as well as you get a machine gun attached to your arm. So that itself is quite cool. Looks to be very powerful, like a juggernaut type of situation and very much so deadly. Next, we see some more battle scenes. One of the bigger ones on the Golden Gate Bridge where we get to see the return of what looks to be like swarm drones, possibly something similar to that. Although my guess is armored and loaded with weapons. So kind of like a combination between the swarm and the quad rotors. Moving along, we just get to see some more battle sequences and blowing up tanks, which is really cool. But the next thing that I want to talk about is the actual wall running gloves. That looks absolutely awesome. You'll be able to climb walls with just using your hands, something similar to what the exoskeleton could be able to do. But this one giving you spider like powers, which is absolutely cool. I'm kind of hoping to see that come to play in multiplayer, but it is too early to speculate on that. After that, we get to see some more footage of the hover bikes as well as the swarm drones. Now, the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about, though, is the elevator sequence where our characters are able to set up a Kevlar looking tarp, being able to block bullets and give immediate cover. So that's something that is very cool and possibly something that may be very overpowered if it comes to multiplayer. But regardless, it looks awesome. Although here's another thing that I want to elaborate on a little bit more is the fact that a lot of people miss this too as well. But the Vecron Energy logo stamped on the elevator door as well as a console in the background whenever you get shown the pan of the characters going on. So I, my guess is that this is going to be an assault or raid on some other company, probably a big piece to the storyline that we're going to be seeing and a lot of it to be coming in the near future. Now we have Kevin Spacey walking away, looking out the window, pretty much saying that he's going to be the one in power when this is all done and over with. After that, we have some more sequences that we've already kind of seen, the dual rotors, more action shots and all that kind of stuff. Now, the next thing that I really want to talk to you guys about though is this right here. This to me blew my mind and it absolutely looks crazy. It's either a laser or energy cannon and it looks to be ridiculous. Two overpowered blasts in one single direction and it looks to be like something you can control because of the first person cinematic view that we have of this. So this is going to be something that's going to be playing a big role as my guess but it looks to be something so cool in my opinion. More destruction and action scenes to come following that but one more final jump leap kick with our new exoskeleton suit just for good measure that's been this trailer breakdown ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy this let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below are you absolutely stoked for call of duty advanced warfare i am beyond hyped right now this is going to be awesome i can't wait to bring you guys the best of content and news regarding it that's been my time ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching if you did like the video please leave a like right down below any shares to your facebook twitter and or myspace if you're OG like that always greatly appreciated if you're new here be sure to subscribe for the best of call of duty advanced warfare content like i said i'm gonna have the best content up on YouTube for you guys. As soon as news and information comes out, you know exactly where to find it right here on my channel. So thank you guys once again so much for watching. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.